All right, something came to me today. A lot of people are messaging me based on my burning of degrees videos, which seem to trigger a bunch of people. Maybe not the people you wanna be under care with, just a thought. But it also inspired a lot of people to take action. <clears throat> they fully agree the institutions that are educating the world are <laughs> indoctrinated, just not what you wanna be, especially in health, medical, nutrition, anything. The systems are all owned by the same system. And as I said, the really good health approaches would never be allowed to exist in the schools because the powers that be running this whole show would never allow them to be that way. There's no way. They only exist because they play by the rules of what the big guys are allowing, okay? So everyone's asking me, DMing me, sending me messages. Okay, TJ, I loved your video. I wanna shift, I've been a nurse or I've been in this. I, I don't wanna be a regular you know, naturopath who just sells you know, supplements, oils, cleanses, detoxes, parasite cleanses at low numbers, throws shit at low numbers, labels people. I don't wanna be in the medical system. I don't wanna be a nurse. I don't wanna be, I wanna do it on my own. Where do I begin? And so this is 21 years in the making for me. But what I've said was you go to offices, you visit as many people in as many professions as possible you ask questions, you seek out and observe how they practice, what resonates with you, what doesn't, <clears throat> where did they get the information, who did they study under, who did they work, experiment on yourself with everything, every nutritional approach, every training approach, every herbal approach, everything you read about, experiment. Personal experimentation totally trumps any education, any degree, always. What you'll learn after meeting 50 to 100 practitioners, you'll see what you like, what you don't like, and why. <clears throat> and this is a long process. It's not a four-year degree. It's a lifelong degree, basically. I just recently realized that I'm a student again. I don't know shit. <laughs> and I'm fully, fully open to not knowing shit because the patients teach me. I follow them, not the other way around. Um, and that's another thing. If your doctor's not championing you for you, then you got to find another doctor or whatever the hell they're labeled now. But I want this young man next to me to share his story because, I'm not going to spoil it, he did what, what people are reaching out asking. He did exactly that, and it's looking like a great start for his future. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I bring you Trevor. How are we doing? What's up, dude? All right. What's going on? All right. So tell us. You, you reached out to me. Well, you didn't reach out shit. You just showed up. Yeah, so two years ago, I moved down for my undergrad um, down to San Diego. And on my free time, it's like, all right, I have a few goals. I know what I want to do. Now I'm trying to seek out somebody I can kind of shadow, learn from, just pick their brain. And so looking through the San Diego area, seeing a whole bunch of trainers, usually people within sport performance, right? And athlete. So that's what I was kind of drawn to naturally. Then I came across your page on Instagram. I don't really remember how or why. I just, it just popped up maybe on the, on the news feed. Was I naked at the time or no? I think you were getting there. Okay, okay. I think, I think you're uh, warming up to that idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I clicked on your page. I'm sure you're probably doing your spinal hygiene yeah. or some kind of video that drawn me in, right? Never seen it before. Visit your page and I was like, holy shit, what is this? I've never seen this before. Right. Literally as, you can take it how you want, but I stalked your whole page. Yeah, right? yeah, I was intrigued, yeah. right? And you researched. Research, yeah. I was like, damn, this is cool. Yeah. And another part of it that kind of drawn me in was the way, because your Instagram isn't strictly business, right? Right, it's, right, it's right. It's your life. My life. And a lot of it was very similar to how I live my life. Yeah. Right? And I was like, damn, there's someone else like that out there? It resonated. Right? It, it hit yeah. home. Yeah. It was cool. Um, so I was like, all right, I got to meet this guy. Next day, you know, I'm driving down Cardiff, and I see him. He made, hold on. Wait, go ahead. I'm driving up. This is before I even, I okay, even okay. reached out to you, right? Yeah. I'm just driving. I see the guy doing three-way shoulder holds, freaking walking his ass off. <laughs> right just living life and i was like damn all right that's a sign i gotta go i gotta go find yeah. him where he's at and yeah next few days later i walk into your business and 
That was kind of a mistake. He just showed up. Yeah. I don't really like when people just show up. <laughs> <laughs> but we sat and talked, didn't we? For three hours. We talked. To, that's right. <laughs> I, I walked in. No one, no one was in the office. I walked in. I was Shit, like, that's this right. Is a cool setup. And then right behind me, this guy was like, boom, what's up? <laughs> Wait, who was it? Was it Dominic? This is you. Oh, oh it's me. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I introduced myself, and then we just... We just talked for three yeah. hours. I don't know what you had planned, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you dedicated that time to me. It was, it was awesome. Well, and I will say this: what I I won't give my time. We know this. Uh, there's people even reaching out to me now who are like, "Yeah, TJ, gonna be in town Sunday, Monday. Uh, we hang out." I'm like, "Don't know how I'm gonna feel that day. Reach out. If I'm not feeling it, I'm not hanging out." And they're they're loving the protection of my time, and that's fine. But like, I protect it so that I can offer it to things that are really, really valuable. And this was one of those moments. Like I could tell by the yeah. questions you were asking, by what, how you were approaching it, you weren't a poser, you weren't selling me anything, you weren't trying to poach anything, you weren't, it, it, was, it, was, it was authenticity, it was authentic, and it was you really seeking out humbly information, trying to learn yourself. Hell and yeah. then, yeah. and then, so then what, what kind of deal did we work out? Well, Cause I you cross my fingers, you'd offer me a job. Dude. Right. I don't. I don't. I don't hire anybody. I, I'm a one man show. I have cymbals between my knees. I have a harmonica right here, and I play the banjo all at the same time. Yep. <laughs> but, yeah. So I knew. I knew that was gonna happen, which was fine. Right. So I was lucky to even talk to you for three hours. I was like, damn. This Stop. Is cool. um, but then I asked if I could just be a fly on the wall and you yeah. know come to your office whenever I have time or whenever you allow me to. Yeah. Sit back and observe exactly what you do day-to-day -day basis ask questions yep um and you're like hell yeah let's go yeah. anytime yeah um and now i've you know i've been in here it's been like a year and a half since i met you right and i come in i try to get in at least once a week yep i'll come in every day but i don't want to be a nuisance you're good <laughs> you're good um just because that's how how awesome and how drawn I am and how much it makes sense to me yeah the way training rehabbing yep the way you go about go about life boom all right yeah now listen oh. eight essentials uh, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. but also one of the biggest things he's like hey any books to read I, I gave you like a boatload like I even loaned you mine like yeah he goes he reads them he comes in and what isn't shown here is he has a little notebook he would observe me talking to patients or observe how I'd approach different, different states of being and different people, different personalities, even myself watching me train <clears throat> and prepare my body for life. And he'd write down, it was notes. I mean, you got, do you have your book with you? It's over there on the corner. But he, he writes well, and he yeah. writes, you take notes, you take so notes. So I have a tiny little book, like that's, that's yep. for like when I come in and just quick notes. Yeah. And then when I go home, I'm diving into it and yeah. kind of reframing exactly what I saw and just try to solidify it in my brain. And right. So just a thirst for this whole thing. It yeah. wasn't me giving him stuff. It was me just pointing the direction and then you just took it. Now let's go where that has transitioned. I wanted, so you've started a business. Yes, sir. <laughs> you graduate when, June, May? May 22nd. Right? And now I'm done with that. And you're grad. done with school. I'm done with that crap. <laughs> And you already real school in the beginning. Atta boy. And you've yeah. already started a business, right? Yeah. Let's pitch the business right now. Let's Go ahead. All right. So Go I, for it. My mom was a Pilates instructor and kind of a trainer. That was her career. And I, I took over her, her business name. Kind of made it my own. So it's the Wellness by Design. Nice. Um, wellness by Design because it's, while there's principles that everybody should adopt, just the way of life, the eight essentials, there's still uniqueness to the individual and everybody has their own way and their own yeah, uniqueness. So it's by design. Your way of health is specific to you and what makes sense and what works for you. Love it. So all online, right? No. So I'll be moving it right now. It's online. Got it. A lot of it's online. Um, but I'm moving home this summer and open up my little, I guess you can call it an office. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> What's the website, man? TheWellnessByDesign.com. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then he also, he, yeah. critical thinkers are terrors in schools. Shit. 
Cri critical thinkers, Dr. Larry Pilevsky, he was a critical thinker in medical school. They don't like you. They don't like you asking questions and challenging the paradigm. They don't like critical thinking. They don't like intuition. They don't like feelings. They don't like emotion. They don't want you to express any of that shit. This is the problem, especially in health and medicine. Did you have some run-ins with some of your professors when you would kind of be exposed to certain principles in here that you would not read in those books? Yeah, exactly. And every, then you would bring day. it up. And how did they every day. take it? Well, both eyebrows would raise and like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> no, it, this is, it says this in the textbook. This is how it's, this is how it's it. Right. How it is. This is how That's it's supposed it. to be. Right. But it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I don't, what if we went this route? Yeah. Um, no, that's not what we're taught. That's not what we're told to do. So. Not even a discussion. I mean, like, inquisitive, uh, like, be curious. No, yeah, nobody's curious about so, furthering their thought. Okay. Yeah, every time. And usually the, the default or the fallback to that is like, well, studies show this. Yeah, of course. And it's just like. Science. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Why can't we question that? Right, I mean, right, if right. it doesn't make sense to us intuitively, I mean. I don't care what the science says. If it, if, it, if it doesn't make sense or it doesn't work, then what's the point? Right. You pronounced right. it wrong. It's science. science. Right. Um, <laughs> and you just got a email, an email from a professor who's concerned yes. about your well-being. My, yep. And what was this? What was the crux of it? And you don't have to get too crazy, but go ahead. So with school being online and everything, there's not that interaction in person with your teachers and your professors. So everything's done Zoom. But, uh, yeah, so I got an email, about a thousand word email from a professor just, you know, stating his concerns about my well-being, if I'm totally understanding the material because it's not exactly what's been taught in school. It's not what the lessons are saying. Mm. It's not what I'm saying. You're not listening exactly me to mm. me and not answering exactly what I want. Um, just because I would question a few yeah. statements or ideas. Um, yeah, and it's just yeah. kind of interesting. Kind of like, what the hell are you doing? Right, right, this right, is right. This isn't the norm, I guess. Right. And I guess being not following the norm is a problem, I guess. Yes. Yeah. So, this is a success story. He's just getting started. All it all it started with was stalking an Instagram page, you know, figuring out what he likes, seeing somebody that expresses what he likes and what resonates researching as much as possible, taking action and reaching out, or you just showed up, man. Yeah. Honestly, if you would have, well, no, you would have called, I would have said for sure, come in shadow, hang out, do your stuff. Um, but he took action, took action. <laughs> the universe loves action, man. <laughs> and it just starts to show you things when you do the work. Um, it starts to, starts to send you things. And he did massive amounts of work and he's just getting started. Another great story of this approach um, it involves education, though, as well, but it's Dr. Alex Lee. Dr. Alex Lee was a patient of mine in chiropractic school, and then we got into the training. I would check him in the student outpatient bullshit clinic and then uh, go to my apartment, and we'd start doing things for his back and training and all this, and he started to get into some of the concepts that we were in here, and he took it and just totally, totally absorbed it, pulled it apart, read everything, did everything. Like six, seven years later, enrolls in chiropractic school graduates. Did you learn stuff? I don't know. Like ask him. But now he's practicing. Now he's fighting for health and medical freedom. Now he's an activist. Now he's in, in private practice. Like that's how you do it. Did he need chiropractic school? I, I'd say no, but you got to ask him, but he's another one. This is how it can be done. The people that are typically most effective are not going to have the most books. They're not going to have the highest profile clientele. They're not going to, they're going to have the cases nobody wants. They're going to have, they're not going to run ads. They're not going to run specials. They're just not going to use a lot of the bells and whistles that the others will. Um, their, their brick and mortar will be in an alley somewhere and they won't even have a sign outside. Like the, just the purity of it has to come back. Um, but this can happen. This is a success story. And it doesn't matter with how deep into medicine or tinctures. Check out Lauren Geertsen. She just created a title for herself because no other certifications would hold her. She wanted to do something and the certifications and the licensing would hold her back from what she wanted to do. Fuck that. She created her own, made a title. This is where we're headed. All systems are crashing. Natural, holistic, and allopathic. All systems. And if you're triggered by that, 
You're not a practitioner who needs to be in practice. Sell paper, sell cable boxes. Till next time. Peace. Peace out. Boom. <laughs> P.S. So to piggyback off what you were saying about how myself and Alex Lee, one of my favorite things that you say is we follow the breadcrumbs that is our innate or mm. our clients or other people's innate. Right, so yeah. we, we use that intuition to say, okay, I like, I experimented here and that made sense to me. I'm gonna keep diving down that route yeah. because it makes sense, it's working, and let's keep going that way. I know this way didn't work, nice. let's go a different route. Nice. And we just keep experimenting, following breadcrumbs that lead you to something that ultimately makes sense, works, and that you enjoy. And Boom, love it. Intuition, doesn't make sense, Nature leaves clues. That's all we need to know. Boom.